Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is model and solve addition equations. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com and this is our sixth grade uh, class. So that's what the link you'd be following. And there's our, uh, our common core strand. And our question here is how can we use models to solve addition equations? So we're going to use algebra tiles here. So, so we're going to use uh, this long rectangle as our X tile. So we're hoping your teachers have these. If they don't, then I'll show you how to draw them. You just draw a big, longer rectangle for X, and then a little square for the one tiles right here. So this is our one tiles, and this is our unknown. So, so this unknown could be anything. It could be, you know, 2, 3, 8, 10. It could even be a fraction when you get later into math. So anyway, so here we go. Here's a question. So... So if your teacher has a math board and algebra tiles, that's great. If not, then just draw the rectangles, okay? So so Juan has $2. He wants to buy a dozen cookies for his class uh, that cost $7. So model and solve the equation x plus 2 equals 7 to find the amount of x dollars uh, that Juan needs to save in order to buy the cookies for his class. He's my kind of student. All right, so I just slid that up right there. So let's draw two rectangles on the math board to represent the two sides of the equation. So if you have, if you have uh, the algebra tiles, let's go ahead and uh, draw these rectangles over here and rectangle over here and put an equal sign right in the middle right there, okay? And then the second part is we're going to use the algebra tiles to model the equation. So over here on the left, we're going to model the x tile and then two one tiles, okay? And then on the right, we're going to model seven one tiles over here. So we can model seven over here. This is going to have an x tile and then two one tiles to model the x plus two, okay? So there that is right there. All right, let's slide that up. Okay, so what type of uh, tiles and number of tiles did we use to model x plus 2? Well, we, we used uh, the x tile and then the two 1 tiles right there, okay? And then uh, to solve the equation, to get uh, the x tile all by itself on one side, that's what we need to do. So, so whatever we do to one side of an equal sign in algebra, we have to do the other side, the exact same thing to the other side. So what I'm going to do is take away a 1 tile over here, and then so to balance it out, I got to take away a one tile over there. All right, we got to get this x by itself. So we're going to take away, and then later on it's going to ask us what, what we're doing. We're subtracting. So we're going to take away those x tiles, and as long as we did that on both sides of the equal sign, then it's still equal. So how many one tiles did we need to remove from each side to get the x tile all by itself? We needed to take out those two tiles on each side, okay? So um, when the x tile is all by itself on the left now, how many tiles are over here on the right? Well, I see one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them on the right right there. Okay, so let's answer the question right here. So the solution to the equation is x equals five. Well, that's not the solution to the question. So the question was, how many uh, uh, dollars did Juan need to save? So Juan needed to save an additional five dollars to buy those cookies for his class. Yummy! I had a student bring me some cookies um, yesterday. It was awesome. Fresh. They were still warm. It was yummy. My students know I love cookies. Anyways, uh, so what operation model did we use when we removed those tiles? Well, we took them away, so that would be a subtraction right there, okay? All right, so here's some questions here. So describe how we could use our model to check our solution. Well, what we could do is use the algebra tiles uh, to model our answer. So we can replace the x tiles with our answer, which was 5. So 5 1 tiles. And then you, you already had the 2 on there. So both sides of the model would have the same number of 1 tiles. They both have 7 tiles. So that, that's how we can do that. Okay, the second question. Tell how we can use algebra tiles to model the equation x plus 4 equals 8. Okay, well, we can place the x tile, and then just like we did, except it's 4 1 tiles, because the other one we had x plus 2 equals 7. So we can do the x tile with 4 1 tiles on one side, and then do 8 1 tiles on the other side. And then we take away the 4 1 tiles on that side, so take away 4 1 tiles on that side, and we get x equals 4. Okay, so what we do to solve the equation uh, x plus 9 equals 12 without using the model. Well, if you're seeing over here, when we oh, here we take away four tiles, and then we'd have to take away four tiles here. So here we just subtract 9 from here and subtract 9 from here, 
And then when we subtract 9, we have just x here, and 12 minus 9 is 3, okay? So just subtracting 9 from both sides of the equal sign, okay? All right, so we can, use, uh, we can solve an equation by drawing a model to represent algebra tiles. So what we'll do is we'll let a, a larger rectangle represent the variable, our x in this case. But later on, you'll see in algebra we have variables of y, of c, of h. But typically, x is the most used, and then y is the second most variable used. But right now, we're just going to use x. So we'll let the small square represent 1. Okay, so here we go. Let's solve the equation x plus 3 equals 7. So let's draw the model of the equation. Okay, so we'll draw a larger, skinnier rectangle for x, and then a small square for three small squares for three, and then we'll draw seven of those same small squares for seven right there, okay? So here's our x, here's our plus three right here, and then here's our seven rectangles right there, okay? I'm sorry, seven ones, the seven one squares right there, okay? So give a, uh, get the variable by itself on one side of the, of the model by doing the same thing to both sides of the equal sign, okay? So that's where we do this. We take away one, so we take away one. We'll take away another, we take away another on that side, and then we take away another on this side, and we take away another on that side, and we subtract it off. Looks like um, uh, three rectangle or squares on both sides. Okay, so so here I just crossed them off because we got them drawn on there, so we can't take them off. So there's uh, one crossed off. There's another crossed off, and there's another crossed off. So that's another method you can do is just just cross them off because you guys after you draw drew them on your on your paper. You can't take them away, so just cross them off, okay? That's the same thing, okay? So so draw a model of this situation, okay? So we have the 1x, and then we have these four ones right here. So there's one rectangle on the left, and then the four squares on the right right there, okay? So the solution of that equation is going to be uh, x plus 3 equals 7 is going to be x equals this 4 right there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.